guys, today it's another unboxing. Actually, it's two boxes. Uh, why you may ask? Uh, because of um, a little chaotic living situation the last few months. I have my packages sent home to my parents, which is where I am right now. Uh, so, I haven't been able to have any unboxings. Uh, my last box that I lived before uh, was available. I didn't tell you about it because I thought I would be unboxing them and I did film uh, one uh, but I didn't get the time to edit it because of school and exams and everything but I got some t-shirts and some nice things like uh, this t-shirt that I'm currently wearing so yeah uh, I'm sure other YouTubers have uh, some unboxing from the wearable collection that has been for the few, last few months. Uh, I never got my first box because of my post office managed to return the package before it was delivered to me. Uh, and this was the second package and this is the third package. And then I switched back to the regular World of Wizarding box because I found that I missed the yeah miscellaneous things. I thought I would like the wearable one because I could actually use them in everyday situation but it's just too much fun with the other thing so now I'm back on the regular world of these boxes. Uh, so this is one and then I'll have uh, June and July later on this summer. But uh, let's start with these boxes. The first one is the wearable. Uh, if you haven't heard about the wearables, it's a new collection that they launched this year that has uh, wearable items like t-shirts, sweater, socks, anything that can be worn. Um, I think it's four to six items in every box. At least two will be t-shirts, I think. In the regular one, it's at least one t-shirt. So they're like building on the same concept of having a t-shirt in every box, just more of it. So, yeah. so we'll see what was in the third and the last of mine wearable boxes. So this is the April box, so you may already know what in this, you may have already seen other unboxing, but I haven't. I've been like, you know, I will wait for my own box, so yeah. So yes, let's open it. So on the outside it looks pretty much like the same, just says wearable across with the red leather. So yeah, let's dive in. As usual, I'm a Ravenclaw. No surprises there, I guess. So yeah. Oh, so this is what it looks like. We can see there are t-shirt. This one's a little bigger, maybe it's like a sweater. And there's a cap, which I'm really excited about. So we'll just start over here with the first one. It's a black t-shirt. I think yes, yeah, it's a t-shirt. Looks like this. There's a quote here. Uh, it matters not what someone is born, but what they grow to be. And there's always and there is uh, Harry, a Dementor, the Castle. Yeah, and this is a tree. It might be the Whomping Willow or just a random tree. I don't know. So it's like silhouettes of everything. It's kind of cool. Next, maybe t shirt. Yes, it's not a t shirt. This one is grey with gold and white lettering. I saw Miss Wear that I'm up to no good. And then there are like antlers and the moon and paw and there is lightning bolt. So yeah, it's kind of uh, subtle in the lettering. I like it, it's not like overpowering, just the you know a subtle way of showing your Harry Potter prize. Yeah. Next thing is uh, this purple sweater jumper. 
So yeah, this is long sleeves and kind of uh, not like thick, but it's not. It has like wool on the inside. I mean, not wool, but it's like fleeced. Yeah. So up here, the weapon we have is love. And there is one pointing in the air, and there's a heart with a lightning bolt, and a golden snake in the bottom. So this is like more of the overpowering one, and really bright. But if you don't know the story, you might not recognize like the quote. Um, but for one who have read the book and. Yeah, know the fundamentals of the story is quite clear what it's about, and especially with the wand on top. So yeah, it's kind of subtle and like out there at the same time. I like it. I like the bright colors. Uh, I'm not one to wear a lot of colors, but because of the wearable boxes, I might have to because they have lots of colors. So yeah. I'm definitely gonna wear it at home, like when I'm reading books or watching movies, because I think it's really cozy and really soft. But yeah, I'm tr I'm gonna try to wear it outside at least one, probably even twice or twice, but no promises. <laughs> so. And there is the caps. It's the official snapback headwear with like embroidered, uh, a tag, and always, and I think these lines are supposed to represent the Patronus, that's like, it's like eerie glow around it, so yeah. So now I have my hair with a ponytail, I just do like that, see if it fits me, it does, if I have better hair, it's Snapback. So yeah, it's the first snapback though, it's, it's cool. And there is of course the booklet that comes in every box. This one is a little different than the World of Wizarding one, it's just like a small leaflet. But here you have like the design from the different uh, t-shirt. So it's kind of cool, you could like frame it almost, put it in. So we'll move on to the other box, which is the regular World of Visiting box, not the wearable one. So there you have it, the regular box, no wearable across. It's kind of heavy, makes me wonder what is in it, but I guess we'll find out. So let's just open it up, so we open up. Ravenclaw, good stuff. Oh. Look at that! This is what you see when you open it. So I'm already excited. That's what's fun about this is the random items you might get. So the first one is like a mold for chocolate frogs, I guess, uh, which is silicon, which means you can you can use it over and over and over and over, and you can wash it and everything. I do have like. A plastic tray for shopping fries, uh, which may accidentally have been put in the dishwasher once, so it's a bit deformed now. Still usable, but this one it may last a little longer. I'm gonna open it up. It looks nice. It has. It's quite big frogs though. If you think for one person. That is quite much chocolate, but of course you can make anything with this also. You could... I don't know what, but you could. <laughs> like ice cream or cupcakes maybe. Because you could like gently push them out of it afterwards. But yeah, I'm looking forward to try it. To see what it will be compared to the plastic tray that I have already. And how well it would be. I was really impressed with the plastic tray because I made chocolate frogs and just put in the chocolate, let it set for like 10 minutes and just turn it over and everything just poop, 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 fell out in a piece of course. 
and there was like no traces of chocolates left and I was like whoa I imagine it would be like stuck and everything so I hope this one will live up to that and I guess it will because it's silicon which often just like bloop and it's out so yeah next thing in here is this box which is like for your lunch I guess lunch box it has a really cool design and on top it's different um, uh, motive from the story. We're gonna turn around. So we have like a broom on the side here. It's a Marauder's map, it's a cauldron, some glasses, a uh, wizard or witch's hat, the castle, uh, Luna's uh, glasses, spectral. I've totally forgotten their name. They have a name. I know it. I just can't remember it right now. This, I suppose, is the property, maybe? A broken one, maybe? Or just the lightning bolt because it's Harry's property? Not sure. And there's a sock, which is for Dobby, obviously. The Goblet of Fire, the hoop from uh, Quidditch, a golden snake, a tag. Phone box, which I guess is the engine for the Ministry of Magic, and this is what is this? Not even sure what this last thing is supposed to be. I thought it was a book at first, but I just don't know what it is. Probably something Harry Potter. <laughs> so it has a little handle that you can like go back and forth, so it won't take any space in your backpack. And if you open it up, it's just like a regular tin lunchbox. So yeah, it's really cool. I have another Harry Potter lunchbox, but it's like more old fashioned. With like... What is it even called? More like a briefcase with shoes lid and everything. This is more modern design. So I'm probably gonna use this a lot more than the other one that night. So yeah. Next thing is a t-shirt or something in that way. Yes, it's a t-shirt. It's light blue. I guess people call it baby blue or maybe a sky blue. So it has keys with wings on it from the first book where they have to hunt the, the key for the door when they're trying to get to the philosopher's stone. So yeah. It's kind of summery, I guess, with the colour, which is appropriate for the season. So, oh, the next thing is like this wristband that are kind of popular. So, oh, it's a Ravenclaw band. So I guess this one is different from what kind of house you have. So it says, mind those, creativity, creativity, smart, clever, sharp, calm which are traits known for the Ravenclaw house so I assume the other ones will have like hardworking, loyal, patient if you're a Hufflepuff or like ambitious, resourceful, cunning if you're a Slytherin or bravery, chivalry those kind of things if you are Gryffindor I don't know the exact word, they might be in the booklet so I'll see afterwards so yeah, so it's like a purpley blue. So there you have it. Next thing here is mug, which I'm really excited about because I've been thinking that I want to like collect a lot of those mugs and have it in my cabinet. Even though I don't drink coffee, but I drink cocoa, hot chocolate, and I could use it for just like water or lemonade or something, I guess. This is a Geek exclusive. It said so, <laughs> at least. So yeah, it's no picture of what it looks like on the side. I guess I have to open it somehow. It might be a little intelligent test. Mm, not that way. <laughs> I can't open it. Yeah. I 
can just do like this. Yeah. Woo! Uh, I kind of broke the box. Well, so it says Harry Potter cross, and there is like Harry, which is like shrouded in this uh, darkness with it. The mentors, you can kind of see the silhouette of the mentors around, like poking out of the darkness. It's kind of cool though, a little edgy, I guess. So, going in my cabinet, the start of my collection, I guess. Well, I do have one of those though, but this one is kind of cool. Oh, this is a whole thing. So, this is like a notepad. It has been a little broken in the mail, but would you pretend it's not? So this is the Ravenclaw uh, cover. I guess it will be different depending on what house you're in. And this one says a lot the same at the brand. Creativity, clever, intelligent, smart, curiosity, detail oriented, exclusive individuality, calm, wit, sharp, and there is the eagle. And on the inside, there is like a Ravenclaw crest that says Wisdom. Maybe there's a different things on different pages. No, it says Wisdom on all the pages. Yeah. So yeah, here you can uh, jot down all your thoughts, I guess. Yeah, I like the colors. They're like cool. My kind of color palette. So yeah. And there's the booklet with all the with to the last oh this is cool the last thing in here is this picture which is gorgeous is the from the first film when they are taking the boat over the sea and they look up on the castle it's like the first time you see Hogwarts and it's so magical and amazing and wow so this is Definitely going up on my wall. That is so cool. Really amazing. Not sure if it's like a still from the movie or is it like drawn? It's hard to say because you don't really get like a close up on people or anything. So it's like it could be from the film but it could have been drawn. So I can't even tell. So yeah. That was the last item. So we look in the booklet that has a lot of keys on it. There's this one, which is exclusive. This the mold and the bar. Yeah, a notebook has different designs depending on the house. So like the Ravenclaw is like blue and blue and bronze, which is the Ravenclaw colours. And if you're like what well, they're not, yes they are. Not in the movie but in the book it blue and bronze. So yeah. And different words that represent the houses. And there is the band that has here. I can't see all of the words, but in Gryffindor it's like strength and passion and Hufflepuff has open and enthusiasm and Slytherin has ambition, talent and cunning and probably some more that I can't see, but yeah. So yeah, that was it for the two boxes. It was a lot of good stuff and I'm excited to, well, everything actually. Some will probably be used more than other things, but I like the concept of just a little bit of random things that you might not find otherwise. And like for me, who like to make my own things and yeah, be creative, like I'm really cool I am, it's really fun to get the things and I'll get ideas of things and yeah. So I'm really excited about this and I'm already really looking forward for the next box that will come in the end of this month, maybe in the beginning of the next. So until then, see you guys later. Bye!